there's been a lot of talk about remakes and remasters and what yes makes a good one and why you should do it or not and brian you have some strong feelings on the matter yes uh i just want to hijack the show for a minute and um say something that's very near and dear to my heart and i think many of you will agree uh let's see Hot off the heels of the remake of The Last of Us, a nine-year-old game that had already gotten a remaster and the recent rumors that the next next modern classic PlayStation game to get the remake slash remaster treatment could be Horizon Zero Dawn, a five-year-old PS4 game. It seems that Sony's going to keep finding new ways to sell not very old games to new audiences, whether we all like it or not, and whether we keep rebuying them or not. So given that, here's my plea. There is an incredible and beloved modern classic PlayStation exclusive game that actually could benefit significantly from getting a fresh coat of paint and a technical Mave Gover, and it's called Bloodborne. <laughs> Give it up for Bloodborne. Oh, we're clapping. I legally have to say Bloodborne on this show. Bloodborne <laughs> first dropped in 2015. It was 1080p with a sort of stable 30 frames per second. <laughs> That's being generous. It had forced chromatic aberration, which gave everything that weird kind of jiggly look and had some very rough load times. Uh, the load times improved significantly with a few patches from FromSoft, but they never really went back to tune up much else. Despite all of this, Bloodborne is a masterpiece action RPG horror game with some of the best art direction, world design, boss fights in all of gaming. And yet it's kind of hard on the eyes these days, especially if you're used to stuff like 4K 60 frames per second, HDR ray tracing and dynamic foveated skeletons or whatever i made that last part up from soft <laughs> now they've never been like the most technically exceptional studio um but that's okay because blue point the team that made the gorgeous demon souls remake on ps5 are more than capable of modernizing bloodborne pair that with the fact that from soft's elden ring a equally tough beautiful action rpg is one of the most popular and critically acclaimed games of the year and it's safe to say that a ps5 remake of bloodborne would be very well received so sony if you're gonna remake modern games remake bloodborne I don't ask for much, but I think I speak on behalf of all of us when I say that a hunter should hunt beasts and they should hunt them at the highest resolution and frame rate available on the PlayStation 5 and a year or so later, the personal computer. Thank you.